Hey guys, just wanted to uh, say hello. I know it's been a while. I've been trying to kind of get everything worked out and resolved on uh, some of the previous issues. As some of you may know, I had a little incident with one of our sellers. Um, I do want to at least uh, let you guys know that it was in fact um, not sab sabotage, but uh, just a really bad seller that uh, by the looks of his feedback from the last week and a half, uh, has probably run into some issues and you know, I mean, People do certain things, and uh, you can't really control it. But uh, S. Andrade, 77, that's S-A-N-D-R-A-D-E, 77, is the username. You look at their feedback, you'll see from about the 15th on through the 30th, uh, I was about one of four or five people documented through the feedback um, that had to request a refund on their purchases apparently this guy was doing the same thing putting up a tracking number or at least uh, printing up a shipping label but never sending anything out when the shipping label expired me and other people would be asking hey where's my package and then uh, this guy just disappears so if you come across S Andretti 77 uh, just from a fellow collector stay away from him um, I doubt he'll be uh, on and around for very long but uh, the name on that person was Stacy Andretti um, so that's all I got from the shipping labels or information that I got from them um, but like I said uh, things happen um, it's a learning curve I, I know to kind of pick and choose who I uh, buy boxes from on eBay a little bit better but uh, that's that's the big stuff that's the uh, heavy stuff um, no sabotage going on so uh, us fellow collectors can keep on trucking uh, hopefully there won't be too much haterade uh, being poured on it um, but at the end of the day I'm here to kind of just fill you in I've been gone for a week uh, I, I play in a pool tournament um, I'm pretty good uh, playing the APA league and uh, we made the playoffs so our First uh, matchup of the playoffs starts tomorrow, and uh, I do a lot of uh, not practicing during the year. So when the playoffs start coming around, I try to put a little more time and effort into that. There are some big prizes on that, and uh, at the end of the day, whether I win the money or not, I'm playing for pride. I mean, that's just me. I'm a competitor. Uh, I've got that nature. I, I don't know anything but first, and if I do know something that isn't first, I'm probably not doing it very long. So uh, anything I still do, I'm pretty damn good at. But that being said, um, that's why I've been gone. That's why I kind of pushed off uh, this week's uh, break. I was hoping to do a break today, but, I mean, with what's going on and everything else uh, that happened recently, I wanted to make sure that I do this right. Um, so there were a couple products that I invested in uh, for pre-release. Um, this is the release week. So I know Topps Chrome, HTA box case is on its way. Uh, Panini Immaculate is on its way. I am still trying to figure out what the heck is going on. I may have uh, walked into another stupid seller because I bought a case of Clearly Authentic uh, weeks ago and can't get a hold of this guy. He doesn't respond and uh, it just seems like there's a lot of stuff going on on eBay and I got to really make sure that my money is uh, tied up properly. So it looks like I'm going to stop dealing with the guys uh, with less than a thousand feedback for the boxes and cases and I, even if I got to spend a little bit more peace of mind is worth it to me um, just so I can keep providing the same level of service that uh, I'm trying to do from the beginning. I've had some little hiccups um, I do appreciate a lot of you guys out there for not only being understanding, patient, um, really um, just willing to go above and beyond for me. So for me as a seller, I, I like to do that. I try to do that for all of you. But to have you guys reciprocate really means a lot to me. Uh, Nat's Town in particular, one of the uh, nicest guys, and uh, obviously uh, James Caudell. Um, I really appreciate everything the both of you have done from uh, each side of the equation. But uh, like I said, this is a growing curve, um, learning curve, I apologize. I am doing this by myself. I am one of those people that I say uh, I don't want anybody else to mess it up. And if I mess it up, at least I can blame myself. So I'm going to be doing this uh, myself. Uh, from beginning to end, uh, if I start, uh, I don't know, doing a lot more of these, maybe I'll incorporate uh, my beautiful girlfriend or uh, her daughters who just really want to be a part of uh, what I'm trying to do here. Uh, they want to video me every time, but now i got a webcam, so I may not even need to use them. 
But you know what? You can't beat the uh, family bonding. I'm, they're not my family, so I'm kind of blessed to be a part of their lives as they are mine. And uh, anything that we can do to kind of incorporate each other into this um, definitely helps. So um, that being said, I'll get past that stupid stuff. So as I mentioned, uh, Bowman Chrome will be coming out in September. I am locked and loaded on two hobby boxes and one HTA box to give us a bunch of breaks on, to me, the number one set in collecting. Um, I, I look at all these cards and all the prices on the boxes, the cases, the averages, the this, the that, and I just can't wrap my head around it why these cards aren't worth more when you're paying more for them. There's so many more hits. There's so many more this. There's so many more that. And it's like the only thing that people are really focused on is what I'm going to be focused on. Bowman Chrome. Those, those values are through the roof. That is one of the premier sets, if not the very premier set of baseball. And uh, <clears throat> like I said, I tied up a lot of money into uh, these case breaks. I'm hoping to just build a collector... Uh, pool of you, me, your friends, your family, everybody else that's really just trying to bring some excitement and some joy into this. I was a part of my uh, uh, first case break today on a Panini Immaculate. Um, I, I kind of got in. I bought in on a bunch of teams. It was a half case break, and as much as uh, the finances looked right as far as uh, what they yielded and what they would have returned, um, I didn't like the idea of a half case break. I say, you know what? More is better. So either I could have 20 hits and 10 uh, not so happy people, or I could have 40 hits and hopefully one or two that kind of slip through the cracks that don't get something good. But I'm all about everybody that jumps in, everybody that joins in, everybody that tunes in. Everybody's a winner in my book. Um, going past that. Uh, the hot packs. I've listed my hot packs. These are mainly, to me, for people that you know what you got twenty bucks laying around, and you say, you know, I want to, I want to just get a couple cards. I want something good. I'm tired of getting crap. I'm tired of missing and buying a pack for twenty five dollars because it's a hot pack, and then it's got some no name autograph that's worth nothing. If you want some decent returns on twenty bucks here or there buy one of the hot packs. You want to buy presents for, I don't know, your kids, your nephews, your nieces, your grandchildren, your friends, your family, whatever. You want to get them some presents and you want to get them something that's not too expensive, that they, they can have something to look forward to, something to kind of enjoy. These are it. Um, buy five packs, you get one free. In honor of the Turn 2 Foundation, um, it's $22 per pack. At the end of 150 packs, there's going to be an extra two bucks that will be going for each pack to the Turn 2 Foundation because the theme is not changing just because I've been away. The theme is the same. Trade me your commons. They're two cents per common. I don't care who they are as long as they're baseball as long as they're in good condition. Two cents per common, as many as you want, up to $10 worth of credits in a 60-day period. I'm willing to offer each individual that's donating these cards. You want to donate them for free and you're not looking for anything in return? God bless you. It'll definitely help me, but at the end of the day, two cents per common isn't something that I'm bribing you. I'm not taking it from you and giving you tons of money. I'm just saying, you know what? I don't believe in something for nothing, so I want to give you a little something for uh, contributing to my cause. My cause is not me. My cause is to paying it forward. My cause is to the Turn 2 Foundation for the last break, and it's going to go all the way up to the 22nd. This next one coming up is going to be our third. So, got a lot of time to build up some... Uh, some donations. At this moment in time, there is $6.24 allotted towards the Turn 2 Foundation from Repeat Business. If you are new to this, check out my other videos. I have a frequent flyer program. The first time you do business with me from my first break, which was Tops Inception, dual case break. From that point on, anytime I saw your name on another break or another purchase, 1% of that goes to you. For internal credit, 1% goes to the Turn 2 Foundation for their credit. It's 2% on every repeat purchase from 
anybody and everybody that I've encountered from the first one all the way till the 22nd, which we got 19 more to go after this next one. This next one will be taking place on Tuesday as per the request of the person who originated this uh, purchase of the case and uh, idea of this break. Rizzo Mania asked me to get Immaculate or if I was thinking about Immaculate. I got it within an hour. Um, he's the reason we're doing this break. Um, I didn't know very much about it, but once I looked into it, uh, this is some primo stuff. And uh, as for her, his request, uh, we're going to do this break on Tuesday. Um, that way it kind of gives him some time to be a part of it and get as much uh, in as he can. I have the auctions listing on the weekend. That way it allows more people to get involved. I know everybody works, except me, but everybody works. You got your 9 to 5s, your 12 to 10s, whatever it is. I'm in Vegas, man. People are working all day, all night. I know how tough it is. I want to accommodate you guys. I'm going to make sure all of my case breaks from now on out will end on a Saturday or Sunday, and the break will be a couple days after to allow people some time. And you know what? At the same time, uh, we may have some instances where something doesn't sell or someone just says, you know what? I can't do it. Something happened. Uh, can I just... Uh, cancel this bit. Whatever it is, we'll have those opportunities to give a little bit of time for others to kind of get involved if uh, stuff falls through the cracks. I'm all about efficiency and logic, and this is the most logical thing I could think of, is get more people involved and make sure more people are able to be a part of these breaks. Um, as far as the hot packs that I mentioned, uh, you check out the listing, you'll see, I mean, I, I took a picture of literally a hundred and fifty different piles I have 12 pictures on my phone I only put a couple up there but the main picture I put was the second picture there it is a picture of every game used and autograph card that was inserted into these hot packs the way that I did it I laid out my dining room table I put a hundred and fifty piles of Hall of Famers and stars and blah 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 those were my target piles those were the bottoms then on the next level, I put in a rookie card of everybody, or random people, random stars in baseball. But the next level was the game used in autos. I didn't put all garbage. I would say easily, easily, two-thirds, if not three-fourths, are quality, top-end, game used jerseys, autographs, rookie cards, rookie card autographs. Rookie card autograph jerseys, autograph jerseys, whatever it is. It's all combinations of that, but I made sure every pack had the value in it. I didn't pick and choose this pack gets this, this pack, but I made sure going through them that I evened them out. I kept them similar. They should all, all, all yield at least the $20 you're really putting into it in value, if not double it. Now, out of those packs, one out of 30 had a redemption card. The redemptions of what you are going to be eligible for are listed in the listing so you know exactly what it is. The real push of this 150 hot packs is one pack has the Yankee Super Collector pack. This is, uh, just look at it. I'm not even going to go through it. You got to look at it. You got to do some work. I'm tired of doing everything for you guys. But no, seriously. It's, check it out. It's good. And it's going to lead into the next one. The next set of hot packs to go are not going to be these. Like I said, in the listing and on the videos in the past, I'm a collector. I don't keep trash. I throw it away. Um, these are my cards. I was thinking, do I list them for $10, $20, $30, $40 a piece and have to do all this and all this and all this? And I, or do I just put them into hot packs and say, you know what, let's get rid of all the stars and all the stuff that I have, the inserts, everything that I'm piling up that really I'm never going to do anything with other than occasionally sift through it when some big name comes out of nowhere and I say, hey, you know what, I might have had one of his cards. But we're not going to do that. I said I'd put them all into packs. So I got 150 packs of all my cards minus 50. That's my personal collection. My 50 cards are mainly Yankees. I got about five Otani high-end rookie cards. And I've got a bunch of other stuff of like big stars, very limited print, 
autographs, game jerseys, autograph game jerseys, everything else. Um, that's what I got going, and that's what we're going to be doing. I apologize about the technical difficulty if this flashed through, but we're back, and we're better than ever. So, <laughs> um, but going into those hot packs, like I said, that was the first step to kind of get rid of all the boxes that I had laying around so I can make room for the boxes of cases that I'm going to be lining up. I live in an apartment. I'm not balling. I'm not big status. I'm just trying to make this work and have a little fun in the process. So that's where that's where it's at on that. But the next one coming up is going to be the high-end hot packs. These are the ones for the people that say, you know what, I got a hundred bucks I want to throw away. Let's throw it away and get something good. The way those hot packs will work will be insane. Insane. I'm not even going to go into how I'm going to do it on 48 out of the 50, but I'm going to tell you that there'll be 50 total packs, period. There'll be two. Shohei, however you say his name, Otani, autograph rookie cards, numbered out of 25. Two of them. 100 bucks a pack. There will be only quality hits in those packs. There will be no garbage. There will be no, I bought a $100 pack and I only got something I can sell on eBay for $10 or $20. Ain't happening. You won't get ripped off with me. You may not believe me, but check out my feedback. Check out what other people are saying about me. Talk to some of my friends. Talk to some of my family. Chat on here. Do whatever you got to do. I'm all over the place. I got nothing to hide. I am 100% genuine, 100% sincere, and 100% confident that no one on eBay will be offering anything of the sort, ever. They just won't. They got profit margins. They got tons and tons and tons and tons of boxes and cards and storage and this and that. That's their overhead. You know what my overhead is? <laughs> Not much over that head, is there? Nope. That's the truth. That's my overhead. So this is going to be, like I say, and like I've been saying, I'm the collector for collectors. You're a collector? Roll with me. You got friends who collect? Tell them. Whatever it is, get the word out that Alan Herdemian, that crazy little white boy, red, whatever you want to call me, is trying to do this. I have a wedding in September. I will be MIA for about two weeks in September. But I assure you of this. Before I leave, we're going to do Bowman Chrome. When I come back, we're going to do Bowman Chrome. And shortly after that, we'll do Bowman Chrome again. And by that time, I'll already have the next wave of case breaks to be coming. I am sitting on a case sealed of 2018 Tops Inception. I am thinking about one of two things, and I need a little feedback from you guys. Um, let me know what you'd be more interested in. I could do another case break on the Inception. I think there's been so many case breaks that it's kind of uh, taken its course. Um, but on a sealed case, I know that there are very little out there. Um, instead of selling the case to somebody who's just going to do something stupid with it, I'd rather give it to my peoples, um, and it's out of my personal stash, so I'm not looking to cut out eBay of anything. I'm not looking to cheat nobody, but this is something I'm either going to sit on for a couple of years until ain't nobody got it, and I can sell it for a good chunk of change, or I'm willing to just do for all of my VIPs, all of my subscribers, anybody that wants a box from a sealed case. There were 16 total. When you buy one, I will post on my YouTube channel, this person has bought one of those boxes for $65. And once 16 are gone, that's it. Everybody knows that the case hits were there, the potential was there. It wasn't like I cherry-picked a case and went through all this. I, I just I don't have the money to be doing that, and I'm not that kind of guy. I'm not going to tell you that there's something in there when I know for sure it ain't in there. That's why I say these hot packs are legit. These hot packs are guaranteed. There is no, no, no possibility you will get any hot pack from me that does not deliver as promised. Period. It's not going to happen. My dad sent me something. He went to some card show. 
uh, on the East Coast, and he sent me a Yankees grab bag, 150 different cards of New York Yankees for $7.95. You know, there wasn't one current Yankee in that grab bag. Not one. There wasn't a Yankee from the 2000s. It was all 80s and 90s cheap, scrub, na no namers, and two Paul O'Neill cards. And I love Paul O'Neill. But the only thing I love about Paul O'Neill is how angry he would get and how many times he'd throw the bat in a game. I don't need his cards. But $8 for literally 150 at two cents, $3 worth of credit. And those $3 worth of credit would have had some kid really pissed if he went through them and said, Who the hell is Greg Newberry? I don't even know, and I know baseball. And I know my Yankees. But that's just saying. Um, so that's there. Um, with the Topps Inception boxes, um, if you decide that that's the route you want to go, you say, hey, let's not do a case break. I'd, I'd be interested in buying a box for 65 It's priced reasonable in comparison to what everybody else is doing on eBay. But like I say, you'll know that my box is from a sealed case. You'll know that my box has a real hit in it. It hasn't had everything cherry picked out of it. Um, but that's if you guys decide that. If it goes that route, um, I'll be doing free shipping on any more than one box. Um, if it's one box, I'm just going to do shipping at five bucks. So um, it just kind of keeps everything legit and kind of helps me with the shipping costs. If I do free shipping on every box, it's going to cost me more than it's worth. Um, and that's why I say I'm just trying to find a way to be more fair with it. Um, as I said, Turn 2 Foundation, $6.24 to set aside. I wish there was more. I wish I had commons that I was uh, given to them other than the ones that I have myself. But at the end of the day, it starts with one person. Um, if nobody does it and I'm the only one that does it, hey, you know what? At least there was money piling up for my repeat customers to go towards the donations itself. Um, this is my cause. I, I'm not expecting any of you guys to go full... Uh, full board with it and be like, oh, Alan, let me give you three grand towards that uh, donation. No, I, I understand that. But I know how I am. I know how most of us are as collectors. We hold on to crap. And we hold on to it. 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 Get rid of it. Give it to somebody who will use it. Um, that's all. So, um, in summation, in summary, in closing, this is Number 32, Magic Johnson. I will have number 23 in less than a week. I've already checked my packages. I already checked my tracking. And I'm going to have two LeBron jerseys. LeBron, yeah, man. And I don't know if I'm going to get into basketball uh, case breaks. I'm not very familiar with basketball um, in regards to uh, the pricing of everything and the market. Um, baseball, I'm I'm all about it. So I'm definitely in on baseball. Uh, you probably won't see any of me on football. Um, no offense to any of you guys, but I am like that one guy that uh, everybody doesn't want to tell their friends about, but they know they have that friend. I'm that guy. I don't watch football. I play fantasy sports football. I win some magical way without ever watching any of it. I win it. Once a year in one of the three leagues I'm in. No joke. I'm always competitive, great with numbers, but um, football just doesn't do anything for me. Basketball and baseball are it. Um, now with LeBron going to L.A. and everything else, I mean, I, it's going to be hard for me to stay away from uh, the basketball product uh, this season. But um, for now, we're going to stick with baseball. We're going to stick with what I love, what I know, and we're going to say go Yankees, go Yankees, and... Screw the Red Sox. Sorry. Um, but that's about it. I'll be sending out emails to every one of my previous customers from the first break, the second break, the follow-up to the second break, and anything in between. Everybody will know what kind of credits they have. Right now, there's not very much built up. The highest person with credits is uh, my man Vision, Mr. Joe. He's got $2.69 built up. Uh, my man James... He's got $1.62 built up. Everybody else is pretty much under a dollar. But like I said, it's all a matter of what you spend. 1% cash back is a credit card I love to use on my city card. I'm giving two. 
1% to you, 1% to the Turn 2 Foundation. Everybody's a winner. I'm taking donations. I'm doing case breaks. I got hot packs out for your starter collectors or your mid collectors. And uh, for all you pros out there that really want some Big Bang and want to take home your first, possibly, Otani rookie card and have it be numbered out of 25, you got a 1 in 25 chance. Name another manufacturer, name another person, name another seller, name another anything, and you're going to get a 1 in 25 chance on that kind of return. It's not happening. Except for me. So be a part of this. I thank you guys for tuning in. Um, I do apologize, uh, 25 minutes. I know I'm trying to cut it down, but uh, it just ain't going to happen. I'm just not that guy. I'm very long-winded. I got the gift of gab. Uh, I got some big old lips, see, and they're used for talking, not for being silent. So thanks for tuning in. Thanks for uh, keeping up with me. I really hope to uh, expand my family of collectors as each day goes on. Please email me at aherd146 at gmail.com. Facebook me, friend me, follow me on my uh, eBay sellings, whatever it is. Just be a part of it. I thank you, and as always, in honor of number two.